thanks so much for being here today. my name is jeanette mall and i am the chairman of tanecpac. so i want to take this opportunity to introduce tanecpac, which is truth about mary ellen it's a new political action committee that will show ohio voters the truth about mary ellen o'shaughnessy. tanecpac is a group of concerned ohioans working to educate ohio voters about mary ellen o'shaughnessy. tanecpac will ensure that ohio voters know the truth about mary ellen and why she would be a poor secretary of state in fact in her introductory speech when she first announced she was running for office she stated she wanted the voters to have more awareness of the candidates so that they can vote without deception and we agree with her we're here today so that we can bring more awareness of her candidacy so that the voters can vote without deception TAMPAC is not affiliated with any other candidate or party organization. TAMPAC will educate the voters about why Mary Ellen O'Shaughnessy is the wrong choice for Secretary of State. Shortly before the filing deadline in February, union bosses and the liberal wing of the Democrat Party forced moderate candidate Jennifer Garrison out of this race because they were worried she wouldn't be partisan enough for them. But the Ohio Secretary of State must fairly apply both the United States and Ohio Constitution without regard to political beliefs. Mary Ellen O'Shaughnessy's speech when she announced she was running for office referenced our democracy numerous times. But in point of fact, we do not live in a true representative democracy. We live in a constitutional republic where the Constitution draws the line in the sand over which elected officials cannot pass. And Mary Ellen O'Shaughnessy has proven she doesn't believe in parts of the United States and Ohio constitutions. She is a rabid opponent of the Second Amendment. I have spent my career defending the Second Amendment, having opened the Washington, D.C. office of Ducks Unlimited. I'm a life member of the NRA an Ohio concealed carry permit holder and wrote an amicus brief in the Heller case before the United States Supreme Court, where the United States Supreme Court said that the Second Amendment says exactly what it says. It means what it says. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed, not infringed by city council members and not infringed by the Secretary of State. Mary Ellen O'Shaughnessy pushed hard for the Columbus gun ban and the assaults weapon ban. She doesn't agree with Ohioans' rights to have their concealed carry permits, like myself and others in this room. And she doesn't believe in the Second Amendment. If Mary Ellen O'Shaughnessy won't back the United States Constitution on this fundamental right, how can we trust her to oversee voting another fundamental right? But it's not just her stance on the Constitution that make her unfit to serve as Ohio's Secretary of State there's also her ties to unions. I'd like to turn the podium now over to Sarah Walsh, another one of our board members. Thank you. I'm Sarah Walsh, and I'm involved in small business. And I am very concerned that Mary Ellen O'Shaughnessy, as a former AFL-CIO lobbyist, has her loyalties tied to union bosses in the party, not our Ohio law. She is almost completely funded by unions and labor interests. She owes them a debt and she will repay them. Excluding money given to her by the Democratic Party, almost 75% of her money has been raised by labor unions. O'Shaughnessy is only running for this office because she is a Democratic and she wants to be a partisan puppet, and she's willing to manipulate election law for partisan games. I have to say, as an, as an Ohioan and, and, and being involved in small business, I do not want the Secretary of State's office a union puppet. I want somebody to speak out for all Ohioans. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. Ladies and gentlemen, this issue isn't about me or even those who are up here and our other board members. It's about Ohio and those who are concerned that Mary Ellen O'Shaughnessy is unfit to be our next Secretary of State. I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce our board of directors not present with us here today is Tracy Saliba, Andrea Weaver, Bambi Wright, and Jan Hills. You've already met Sarah Walsh, and also on our board of directors is Peggy Hayden. I'm going to give her the opportunity now to come forward and to speak with you as, about Mary Allen as Ohio's Chief Election Officer. Thank you. I'm Peggy Hayden, 
And I have been a poll worker for four years in uh, Guernsey County. And I am here and, and was happy to join this board because I believe that Mary Ellen O'Shaughnessy is unfit to be Secretary of State. Uh, as a person who's worked on the polls personally on election nights and days, I know that voting rights are sacred, regardless of the political party of the voter. And we in Ohio have seen all too recently in the presidential election what a partisan Secretary of State can do. The main concern I have, and we all have, is that Mary Ellen O'Shaughnessy is not qualified for the job. She has not spent one single day in her professional career doing anything related to elections oversight in this state. She, if I were in business and you in the room, I'd ask you, if you had somebody coming to you for a job, as I have had before and hired people, would you hire somebody who has zero experience in the policies of your industry, who has zero experience in working in the field? My answer would be no. And uh, the only thing that I can see that Mary Ellen seems to m know about elections is that she very much likes to see her name on the ballot. Um, she's been on several times, and um, I'd have to ask if it were me doing the hiring, as we citizens are doing here, is she a career candidate? I think she's wrong for Ohio, and that's the truth about Mary Ellen, and that's why I'm on this board, and we are all um, here today to educate everyone.